Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to make a vignette out of this horse, but when they engrave it, it still leaves a white background. It's because it's the the background is really still there. Uh, because and this is an engravable. It's been put through photograve to give you your dot look, and it, uh, I imagine it's going to engrave pretty well. So we just need to hit P and put it on our center of the page, and then I'm going to take an ellipse. You could do this two way. I probably prefer to go to effects first. We'll go to effects and custom and or creative and go to vignette and then make it a, a an ellipse if that's what you want. Your color's gonna be white, doesn't really matter, you know, which way you go. Um, I just noticed that you can see the shadow of the person, that's pretty cool. But you can play with this offset, and I've done several videos on how to do this with vignette and your offset and your fade. And you know, you just kind of want want it to fade in the background. But what the problem they're having is that the white is still there in the corner. So we take our rectangle tool and turn it yellow, and then go up to object and order and back a page. You can see that the, all the white's still there because it's a bitmap. So what we need to do is hit P, put that back in the center of the page, take in our ellipse tool, just kind of get about the right side and put C or P. Let's make it a little bit bigger and then hit P. And then what you need to do is select both the bitmap and your ellipse and go up here to intersect. And it will intersect that horse out. We can actually erase this ellipse and put it up here. Now you see that there's no white background. It's transparent behind there. Now you could actually maybe try taking this and going to effects and uh, put another little vignette on it and see what happened. But then again, you're gonna probably do the same thing uh, by putting a white background on it. So you need to just leave that alone. Or, you know, you could, uh, and you're also making maybe the photograph too much blended into the side. The reason a lot of people do this, if you're gonna do this on wood, uh, it kind of fades in and the, uh, the lips part looks pretty cool, but you won't have any, you know, it doesn't look like a photograph anymore. And if you fade it enough, it kind of blends in uh, more so than it would. Um, you just basically had to test it. And if I was to test this, I would, you know, crop out you know, the horse's head and see what it, how it kind of looks. Doesn't really look, it looks like the vignette did too much because we put it into a circle. But it it did a little bit and you can play with that. Um, you could actually play with that when you're, you can put your lips and then play with your vignette tool on your offset and everything to, to see the fade. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.